to the channel it's sarah here with furniture flip by sarah and today i am going to be flipping this bench i found in the trash so i found it at our local dump there's a little kind of shelter where you can drop things off before they get tossed into the garbage to see if anyone wants to save it and i found this piece and i thought it'd be great to make over it has a nice cushion topped i am going to be recovering that painting the base and really just giving it a complete makeover. So let's get into the video. So to start out, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the top bench seat completely. Just removing the hinges and removing this little name plaque. To remove these, I'm just using my Dewalt drill and I'm just gonna find the right bit to fit the current screws. So I hooked up my surf prep and I just have a sanding sponge on there. This is a 220 grit just to sand everything out and make sure it's super smooth before I go ahead and start priming. So now that the bench is fully scuff sanded, I'm just gonna take some degreaser here. This is the cred cutter, this is my favorite degreaser. And I have a microfiber cloth. I'm just gonna spray it down and wipe it before priming. To make sure I got all of the residue off, I'm just taking a damp cloth with some water here and I'm just going to wipe the piece down again to make sure it is all clean. Now that the bench is dried, it's time to start priming it. And to prime it, I'm going to be using my favorite primer. This is a shellac base primer by Zin, uh, Zinzer. It's their bin shellac base. And I just have a little brush from the dollar store and a microfiber roller. So to paint the bench, we're going to be using our Paint Zoom paint sprayer. This is not sponsored, but this was sent to us to test out. Um, and I did create some videos for them over on the platform that they wanted me to. And we've actually been using it ever since because it's super convenient and handy. So it has like the compressor and everything right here that you can just literally carry on you as you're working. Um, it's really easy to clean. This part just kind of comes off right here. Um, and then you can like rinse this out. But like I said, it's been working really good for us. So I definitely recommend it. I believe the whole unit is around two or $300. So I will link it down below for you guys. 
and um, you can test it out for yourself but we have been loving it and that's what we're using to paint the bench in this video. As you can see, the bench now has two coats of paint on it. Mr. Furniture Flip ended up spraying two coats. So there are a few areas like maybe right here on this little cover that I am just going to go over with a really small brush. And right in here, just to make sure everything has a nice solid two coats. But for now, I am going to be working on the bench cover. I have some fabric that I picked out. Fun fact, I used to work at a fabric store. I actually used to work at a fabric store when I was in college. I did like a paid co-op there. So I have a ton of fabric. They were closing down. So I bought a bunch because I knew I wanted to do future projects with them. So I picked out something from my collection and I will show you guys that. So I have two fabrics here that I'm debating between. This one is more of like your traditional heather gray, but it's super like soft it has a really nice uh texture to it and then this is just like a cotton um i believe it's a little bit more neutral i'm kind of thinking this one might be nice just a bit more luxurious um because so i'm debating between these two fabrics i am going to be adding these gold kind of triangle knobs to the fronts just to give the illusion of drawers even though it does open on the top so i'm just debating which color combo i like best i think this combination might be nice and rich where this is a little bit more neutral personally i like both let me know what you guys would pick down below in the comments would you pick the heather gray or the more neutral fabric so i think what i'm going to do is just go ahead and add these little knobs on here first just to help me get a better idea of what fabric to go with so i'm just going to measure out the center by creating a line like using a ruler and creating a very faint line and figuring out the middle you could have also done this from the beginning to avoid any pencil marks but i'm just going to figure out the center of this and then add one here and here drill the holes I'm just using this little Dewalt set that came with my two drills I am going to use the size I need for my hardware so I'm just going to drill right in the center where I mark and I'm just going to repeat that process for both sides keep the original backing I'm just going ahead and removing it that way once I have my fabric on I can just staple this back on and it'll just give me a cleaner look these staples are coming out 
pretty easy, so I don't need to use a staple remover or anything like that. So once I get all of these out, I will go ahead and start recovering the cushion with the fabric of my choice. So I'm just going to cut the fabric to the size I need it to be so I can staple it on. As you can see, I decided to go with the more neutral fabric. I just think personally it's more my style and I think it suits the piece more. I mean, I am going to be selling this piece, so I've also kept in mind um, like a buyer's perspective. And I think, especially for this time of year, this will be a better option. And whenever you're cutting fabric, you always want to look ahead of where you're going and you'll get more of a straight line that way. So to recover this cushion, I'm going to start um, with this edge here. So I'm just going to pull the fabric really tight and I'm just using a Stanley staple gun and make sure the fabric's nice and tight and just staple it down. I'm going to repeat this until I get to the corners. So for the corners to get a nice clean edge, I'm going to start with the point and I'm going to push this back as far as I can, staple that down, and then the fabric that's on the edge here, I'm just going to fold in, staple that down. And the same with this one, fold it in, making sure it's nice and tight. And now I have a nice little folded edge. I'm just going to repeat this process for the whole uh, cover. And here is the final look of the bench. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys thought of this makeover. Maybe something you would have changed. And I will see you guys next time with another furniture flipping video.